Sometimes when everything seems to be falling apart, you just need to let it fall apart. When what felt strong and sure seems to be crumbling, <laughs> when what you've held so dear seems to be dissolving, when what you thought was growing and thriving seems to be dying, you just need to let go and let it all fall apart. You need to loosen your weary, white-knuckled grip that's been trying to hold it all together and just let it drop and roll in a million pieces across the floor. I know your first instinct is to be tenacious, to hold on, to try to control what's going on, to make it work, to try to gather up all those slippery pieces and mold them back into something familiar, to force them to become something that will work. And sometimes that can be a noble move if you are fighting for something that you love that you believe in, that you're passionate about, something that you know to be true for you. It may still fall apart despite your efforts, but sometimes you still need to fight that fight. But if you're desperately holding on out of fear, not love, if you're holding on because you're afraid of the unknown, because you're trying to cling to something that's familiar, even if it's not ideal, then let it go, let it fall apart. Not in resignation, but in faith. Let go in faith that this is falling apart because something new wants to be born. Something new wants to come into being. And the only way it can is to obliterate the old, to obliterate the familiar. Sometimes when everything falls apart, that's exactly what needs to happen. As someone reminded me lately, it's not happening to you, it's happening for you. It's asking you to let go of old ways, old forms, old attachments in order for something new to be born, in order to bring you more of what you do want, in order to bring you what you've been asking for. And it's scary because all you can see is what you've known. You can't see what's coming. Right now, I feel as if there is an earthquake beneath my feet and the walls are starting to tumble in and things are falling off the bookshelves and everything is in upheaval. And my first instinct is to stop the shaking, to try to put things back up on the shelves, to plaster up the walls again, and to power up and go, come on, I can do this, to rally the troops and say, yes, let's save the day. But I can't, because when I get still and really honest with myself, I realize that what I'm trying to save isn't what I really want. It's just what I've had. It takes faith to let it all crumble. It takes trust in the fact that what is dying is doing so for you, not against you. It takes faith that in this falling away, something new and ever more magnificent is being born. If that faith is hard for you to muster right now, I will hold that faith for you. Don't be afraid to let that which is falling apart fall all the way to the floor and be swept away. Then raise your head, open your eyes, clear your heart, and look for what wants to come in. Look for what wants to be born in you next. It will show up, maybe not immediately, but it is there. It is the energy that is causing this falling apart in the first place. It is the energy of creation. And if you need support, I'm here. <laughs>